Ever wondered how a single change in a base class can ripple through an entire program? Welcome to the world of inheritance in programming. Inheritance is one of the fundamental pillars of object-oriented programming, a paradigm that has revolutionized the way we design, write, and think about code. It's like the DNA of your program, passing traits from one class to another, creating a hierarchy of classes that share common behaviors and attributes. Imagine you're designing a car in your program. You'd start with a base class called car, with properties such as color, make, and model. Now, let's say you want to create a sports car class. Instead of defining all those properties again, you can simply inherit them from the car class. This is the magic of inheritance. It promotes reusability and keeps your code dry. That's don't repeat yourself for those not in the know. But inheritance is not just about reusing code. It's also about creating relationships between classes. Think of it as a family tree, where classes are like family members inheriting traits from their ancestors. The base class, or the parent class, passes on its properties and methods to the derived or child class. Inheritance also brings about a sense of order and hierarchy in your code. Complex programs are made manageable by breaking them down into smaller, interrelated classes. This hierarchical structure makes it easier to track how data and behaviors are passed around in your program. Moreover, inheritance plays a key role in polymorphism, another cornerstone of object-oriented programming. This allows a child class to not only inherit properties and methods from the parent class but also to redefine or extend them, providing flexibility in how classes interact with each other. So, inheritance, a fundamental concept in programming, forms the backbone of object-oriented programming, allowing one class to inherit the properties and methods of another. It's a powerful tool that, when used correctly, can lead to clean, efficient, and scalable code. But like any tool, it must be used with care and understanding. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the parent-child relationship in our next segment. Inheritance sounds like a family affair, doesn't it? That's because it is, in a programming sense. In the world of programming, we often talk about parent and child classes. This is not much different from a family tree where a child inherits traits from their parents. Just like in a family, a child class in programming inherits properties and methods from a parent class. Imagine a parent class called Vehicle. This class may have properties like color, size, and speed. It may also have methods like start, move, and stop. Now let's create a child class called Car. This Car class is a specific type of vehicle, and so it inherits all the properties and methods of the Vehicle class. This means that our Car class also has a color, size, and speed and can start, move, and stop. But here's where the beauty of inheritance really shines. Our car class doesn't just have to be a carbon copy of the vehicle class, it can have its own unique properties and methods too. For instance, we could add a model property or a honk method to our car class. These unique additions make the car class more specialized than the generic vehicle class. You see, the parent-child relationship in programming is all about balance. The child class inherits from the parent class, which provides a solid foundation. But the child class is not confined by this inheritance. It can also branch out adding its own unique elements that make it more than just a copy of its parent. And that's the brilliance of inheritance in programming. It allows us to create specialized classes like car, bike, or truck, all inheriting from the same parent vehicle class. This not only keeps our code organized and easy to understand, but it also reduces redundancy. We don't have to rewrite the same properties and methods for each class, we just inherit them. That's the beauty of inheritance. It allows for the creation of specialized classes while reducing redundancy in our code. Polymorphism might sound like a mouthful, but it's a powerful aspect of inheritance. Ready to dive in? In the world of object-oriented programming, polymorphism is a concept that allows objects of different types to be treated as objects of a common type. It's a Greek word with poly meaning many and morph meaning forms. Here's where inheritance and polymorphism go hand in hand. Inheritance, as we've discussed, is like a family tree in programming. A child class inherits from its parent class. But what if the child wants to do things a bit differently? This is where polymorphism comes into play. Imagine you're a chef, and your parent class is a recipe for a basic cake. You, as the child class, can follow the recipe exactly, inheriting all of its steps. But maybe you want to add some chocolate chips or a dash of cinnamon to make it your own. 
Through polymorphism you can override the parent class's method of making a cake, adding your own flair while still keeping the basic structure. This is the beauty of polymorphism. It allows for flexibility, customization, and individuality in programming. You can still use the parent class's methods, but you also have the freedom to make changes where you see fit. It's like having the best of both worlds. Polymorphism goes beyond just adding your own methods. It can also help reduce complexity in your code. Instead of writing multiple methods for similar tasks, you can write one general method that can be used across multiple classes. This not only makes your code cleaner and easier to read, but it also saves you time. So there you have it. Polymorphism allows a child class to override methods from its parent class, bringing a whole new level of flexibility and customization to programming. It's a powerful tool that can help you create more dynamic, efficient, and intuitive code. Polymorphism, the ability to take on many forms, is truly one of the superpowers of inheritance. Inheritance isn't just about reusing code. It has its perks and pitfalls. Curious to know what they are? Let's start with the perks. Inheritance, an integral part of object-oriented programming, is a powerful tool for code reusability and organization. It allows us to create new classes that reuse, extend, and modify the behavior defined in other classes. This means we can build upon existing code without having to rewrite it from scratch. Isn't it like standing on the shoulders of giants? Certainly it's a time saver and efficiency booster. Moreover, inheritance fosters organization and clarity. By arranging classes and hierarchical structures, we can create a clear and logical structure for our code. It's like having a well-organized toolbox where everything is in its right place and you know exactly where to find what you need. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Inheritance brings its share of pitfalls too. One of the major ones is the potential for increased complexity. As the hierarchy grows, it can become more difficult to track where specific behaviors come from. It's like tracing your family tree back to the 10th generation. Things can get complicated. Another pitfall is the risk of tight coupling. Inheritance creates a strong dependency between parent and child classes. If the parent class changes, it can have a ripple effect on all its children. Imagine changing a cog in a complex machine. It can affect how the whole thing works. Moreover, there's a risk of misuse. Inheritance is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it can cause damage if used incorrectly. It's like a double-edged sword. It can help you cut through the complexity, but if not handled with care, it can turn your code into a tangled mess. Inheritance, like any tool, has its strengths and weaknesses. The key is understanding when and how to use it effectively. Indeed, it's a tool to be wielded with wisdom and discretion. A keen understanding of its perks and pitfalls can help you harness its power and sidestep its pitfalls. After all, it's not about the tool, but the craftsman who wields it. We've journeyed through the world of inheritance. Ready for a quick recap? Let's start at the beginning. Inheritance, in the realm of programming, is a principle of object-oriented programming that allows us to create new classes from existing ones. This is akin to how children inherit traits from their parents. The new child class acquires all the properties and behaviors of the parent class, allowing us to reuse code and reduce redundancy. We dived into the intricacies of this parent-child relationship, understanding how a child class can have more than just the inherited traits. It can have its own unique properties and methods, extending the functionality of the parent class. This concept is known as overriding, but remember, the child class can also access the original method of the parent class through a process called super. Next, we ventured into the power of polymorphism. This is the ability of an object to take on many forms, enabled by inheritance. The beauty of polymorphism is that it lets us program in the general rather than programming in the specific. It's like having a shape that can morph into a circle, a square, or a triangle, depending on our needs. We also discussed the perks and pitfalls of inheritance. On one hand, it encourages code reuse, enhances readability, and simplifies code maintenance. But on the other, it can lead to a high level of coupling, making the code more interdependent and potentially harder to debug. Inheritance, a vital tool in the programmer's toolkit, enabling us to write more efficient, organized, and reusable code. It's the backbone of object-oriented programming and a powerful catalyst for polymorphism. It's a concept worth mastering regardless of the programming language you're using. So there you have it. A whirlwind tour of inheritance from its fundamental principles to its role in shaping the world of programming. Until next time, keep exploring.